Okay, y'all, I'm on my way. I'm about five minutes away from the restaurant. Clearly by the look of my lips, I just ate a good old salad. And uh, we need a little refresh, but that's not why I'm here. I'm here because I have a secret to tell. And I need accountability because I have been slacking. But since we've been doing these videos and I've been held accountable for my food, for my lifting, for my cardio, I need help with this too. So, oh, that was good. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Hola. Me llamo Aurelia y mi familia es de Puerto Rico. Yo hablo español, pero yo necesito practicar más porque cuando voy a tener un bebé, un niño o un, una niña, yo quiero enseñar español a mi bebé. Hey, y'all, my name's Aurelia. My family's from Puerto Rico. Puerto Rican and I speak Spanish but I need to practice more because when I have a kid I want them to learn it as well so I need to be more diligent so quiero hablar en español cada video por dos o tres minutos so I think I'm going to talk in Spanish two or two or three minutes per video um, and I guess I'll put the captions below or entertain yourself and try to uh, figure out what I'm saying. But I think that would be a good way to hold myself accountable. And by two to three minutes, I probably mean one minute, but it's gonna be a dazzling one minute. Razzle dazzle. Um, it'll probably have a bunch of mistakes, but that's kind of how you get better. It's kind of the only way to get better is to just put yourself out there. So right now I am looking for parking. I think I just passed the place. So I'm going to go back around and try to find it because I was trying to be cute with this video and I think I passed right by it. So stay tuned. All right, y'all. I got a spot right out front so I can look cute. I don't have to wear a jacket. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. She got some extra sleep. She's feeling good. Oh, you can't see me. You can't see how good I'm feeling. Let me see if I can. I'm gonna pull it down. Good morning, good morning, good morning. She's feeling good. She's feeling good. Okay, so we're about to do check-ins. I'm going to take three minutes to just stretch because already I'm just feeling tight, tight. And I didn't do all that. And since I have new posing and I need to show my coach that, um, I want to make sure I represent it right. done round one done I read a bit of my book I always put in the in the uh, vlog notes the Amazon storefront I have with all the books I swear by right now I'm reading the compound effect Bay and I were reading it but he don't really like to read so it'd be taking forever for us to get through books so I was like I'm gonna just read it myself so I read that knocked that out on my list of daily gifts I get to do I watched a little bit of bro chat, already had me dying. Um, I talked with Shantae, because she is the master. I know this seems like such a simple task, but I can't figure out how to keep my towel on 
once I wrap myself when I get out the shower. Like maybe I need an adult. But hers just always just be just be there. Just looks like it comes like that. I, don't know. I just need an adult probably. Um, I need to go in the store and get detergent. I really don't want to because I'm running late. But I'm gonna do it. Um, anyway, all right. Next up, I'm gonna brush home and make breakfast and take a shower. And I have a dentist appointment, just a consultation to see about getting a root canal done again because apparently it's infected. This dental office is cute. Okay. Okay. I'm going to try not to cry on this one, but no guarantees. Ugh. It's fine. It's fine. So obviously this isn't something y'all know, but I have had teeth challenges. I'm going to use the word challenges, not issues. I've had teeth challenges since I could spell the word teeth. And I probably do have a little bit of trauma around it. Um, my grandmother, God rest her soul, used to feed me lots of candy. So I used to have lots of cavities. I've had root canals, crowns, fillings, you name it, I had it. My file probably about this thick. So six months ago, I went to the dentist and he noticed that it was a little inflamed looking over here, but I haven't felt any issues. So he was like, well, find an insur a good insurance because Medi-Cal, the free insurance is not gonna cover that to get redone, the root canal. So I got insurance. Wow, I just passed this woman. Where is she off to? I just passed her a half hour ago. Anyway, um, he said, you know, some of the insurances make you wait six months before you get something done. I guess mine doesn't, but I wasn't eligible until January anyway. So I got eligible, I have Cigna now and they referred me to the person that could do the second root canal, which is what I just came from. And he basically said that they, he can't guarantee to save the tooth because it's connected to some rod. For some reason, they put some thick rod in there, I guess, because I have really thin bones or something. Um, so they can't guarantee that once they take that off and pull it up, that the tooth won't just completely fall apart so I'll basically be paying you know whatever percentage of the premium the cost um, for it to potentially not even work so the only other option is to completely get rid of the root canal so it's just annoying like and my mom deals with teeth stuff too so it's just like we just have a history and so I called the dentist <laughs> this is probably why I'm not gonna cry is because I'm annoyed but she was just like, well, you could get it extracted and just leave it and not have a tooth there if it's in the back or you can get it extracted and add a tooth. And then she's like, so when do you want to come in? I'm like, hold on, girl, I need to know the pricing. What is the price on both of these? Because it is in the back of my mouth. Like, I don't care if you can't see it. So she just was not very helpful, but she's gonna call me back. Cause she's just like, I'm just the front desk. Okay, then let's get off this call then and have somebody who knows me and my file so yeah it's probably gonna cost somewhere around three four thousand dollars so at the end of the day my mom always says it's just money this is why we save this is why we work and you only get one set of teeth uh, for free so sometimes you gotta pay to play I'm sure my thing is clean I think I just made it worse I think I made it worse all right y'all feeling better mainly because i have my prada's on but also because life is too short like to be stressed about a tooth that ain't even stressing me so we just have to move on i'm about to decided to i was gonna do two meals and then a lift but one of my neighbors um, wants to get back on her fitness game so she asked if i would come do cardio with her so i figured if i just go get my workout in now I can meet her after for cardio. And that'll just break up going right into it from legs. So I brought my um I brought my heels. 
at my, what's that thing called? Tripod. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, and I parked on the street because in case it takes longer than however amount of time from last time, I'm not getting charged $3 again. That was just ridiculous. Anyway, feeling better. It's just like, I, I just posted on Instagram my stories. I was just like, don't be so focused on your challenges that you forget to focus on what's blooming. And my life is pretty fucking awesome. Excuse my English. So, whatever the amount is, we'll just deal with it when we get there. I was reading, um, finishing up the book Outlive last night and it was just talking about like majority of the time our stresses are about things from the past or things that could potentially happen in the future it's not even anything immediate or right now so don't rob yourself of any extra minutes just deal with the shit when you get to it so that's what we gonna do all right y'all lots of updates where do i start so so i was opening up mail so uh Coach got back to me. He is very happy with what he saw. He said, it's not my lowest weight. My lowest weight so far has been 110.9. I don't know if I said this morning I was 111.2. But he said, this is the tightest I've been. So that means the body, as my bestie said, the recomp is recomping. The body is doing what it needs to do. Um, he feels a really good week coming on. He wants me to check in on Monday. I know y'all probably get tired of me saying this, but he did not change my food yet. But he also didn't change my cardio. So we still getting our cardio on. But one of my neighbors wanted to start using the gym downstairs. So today we did 40 minutes. And y'all know how I feel about the treadmill. But it was giving today because we were in full conversation and passionate and all that. So my heart rate was up. Um, so yeah, he wants me to check in on Pepper. You can't be the center of attention. He wants me to check in. He just wants me to go to the bed with him. Y'all don't feel bad for him. The check in next check in will be on Monday. So my goal for Monday is to be in the 109s. So that means eat the sheet, no BS, all those extra things I told y'all in the last video. Shout out to everybody. Y'all showing mad love in the last video. Y'all needed that power hour. I'm gonna try to deliver again um, on that one for y'all. Um, what else? Okay, the dentist. So I told y'all earlier, old girl was useless. Well, she called me back and she was like, okay, so if you want to get the tooth extracted and get a new tooth implanted, it's going to be $2,280. If you just want the tooth extracted and have nothing there, $2,80. I said, girl, say less. I don't care if it was right here. Okay, maybe I would care. But it's that tooth back there. So unless I'm going... You're not gonna know. So we're gonna leave that thing good and empty, okay? Save my two stacks. But I'm just grateful to God that I would have had two stacks available to pay for it if I needed to. Won't he do it? Yes, he will. Pepper, come with me. Um, I feel like I have one more update. Why are you in my kitchen? Are you about to cook me something? Are you gonna meal prep for me? Are you thirsty? He might be thirsty. I don't know if I told y'all this, but one time we went down to our neighbor's house and Pepper was with us and he kept barking. And child, I almost brought him in the bathroom and, and tapped that butt. Come to find out he was just thirsty. He was barking at the countertop because that's where we keep the water when we don't want him to drink so much water. So we'll see if that's it. But I feel like I have one more update. Stay tuned. Eyes bloodshot and I'm faded now I try calling to persuade you how I'm a change man with a new plan Making moves, making big moves Like a rule the whole damn galaxy So tell me are you starry-eyed just been a whirlwind ass day so 
So for those that don't know, I also do musical theater as a performer and I auditioned for <clears throat> Jersey Boys. Um, that does not typically or ever really that I've seen have black girl in it, but I love the music. I love that time. Like I grew up on that music and I did the damn thing in that audition. So I just saw the cast list come out, which feels good. It's just nice to have some closure and I'm still going to go see the show. Okay. Cause we only get better. We don't get better. And, um, I'm still going to do that show. Just not with that production. Right, Pepper? Right, baby boy? You think your mommy's talented? You think she's pretty? You love your mommy? You love your mommy. You, bo you move your head when you try to understand what I'm saying. You're so cute. I can't. All right, posing done. Stretch and meditation done. And now we're going to do a little Bible study with my favorite Bible scholar. Buenos dias. But okay, todo es bien. I hope everything is good for y'all this morning. Just weighed myself same weight as yesterday after a nice high day, so that's good. Today's my day off, so that means I feel a good drop come tomorrow as long as I stick to the plan. I'm gonna wait until 10 o'clock to eat when I get on a call with my mentee. Um, I decided not to go out for cardio today. I mean, today is the rest day. I really need to foam roll my quads are singing high notes, it's time. And they're gonna do the same thing on our phone roll, but um, a lot of meetings today. Uh, since it's my day off, I'm gonna meet with my neighbor again. Oh, I didn't say this. Yesterday I met with my neighbor and we did cardio downstairs for an hour. So we're gonna go do it again later on. And yeah, just meetings after meetings after meetings, voiceover gig and Bible study. In case I didn't tell y'all, the dentist called yesterday and said it would be $280 to extract the tooth and leave nothing there. And it would be $2,280 to add a tooth on top. So you know what I said, throw the whole tooth away. Hello there. Pepper doesn't want to let me get up, so I guess this is where we'll talk next, but I guess I gotta do a little lift. Ooh, no. There we go. <clears throat> hey y'all. I feel like off days are pretty uneventful. I did not do cardio this morning, as I said. Um, weight is staying locked in, so hopefully today it'll go down. I just ate a salad section from my third meal because that second meal is 84 grams of meat and 47 grams of avocado that thing went right through me i was hungry all over again so um in about 10 minutes i'm gonna go do cardio again with my neighbor um and then i have a client at four so i think at three i'll just eat the salmon i get today and then i'll have my last two full meals at six and nine but yeah i just feel like Excuse me, I just feel like off days are just snore fest, so I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna hold y'all today. Maybe we'll just chat tomorrow. Y'all, I spoke too soon. Just when I said the day was not gonna be eventful, <gasps> my water came in. Okay, so I just got tired of filling up these jugs and buying these jugs from Target and filling up jugs, like, just ghetto. I can't do it anymore. So 
every two weeks i'll get 10 gallons coming and then those other four gallons i'll still deal with that but i'll use it for like my bcaas and my pre-workouts and my morning fiber drink and you know where the, the taste gets overwhelmed by the flavor so ah prepare to be sick on me she's gonna be real hydrated All right, y'all, so I figured I'd do this now while I'm, well, two things. One, I'm about to do Adam's laundry. And I thought about this because in one of Shantae's videos, you know, she was talking about, you know, this is a wee thing, right? And so for me, uh, laundry, like dirty laundry overflowing or, and or clean laundry just sitting there collecting dust drives me crazy and so adam and i came to an agreement that part of what is difficult for him is getting to the washing so though getting to him to finally wash all the clothes take three days put away clothes take five days so you know we've run out of time so i started doing his laundry and i think for some people that may seem like you know what is this the 1950s but I'm really about, and this is probably in every situation, what is going to bring me peace? What good is it for me to keep nagging somebody? I'm making my salmon. What good is it for me to keep nagging somebody about something they don't care about? It's not that he's doing it maliciously. He just does not care. He doesn't care like I care. And, you know, at some point you have to realize you can't make a dog meow or a cat bark as much as you'd like to. So I just wanted to bring that up because I had to, it took me a long time. I mean, we've only been married two years, but we've been together knowing each other for seven to really get out of the like, what do I need? What do I want? You need to do this for me. No, it needs to get done. That's when you marry, it just needs to get done. So who gonna do it? So if the chance of you doing it means it's gonna take, you know, for the return of Jesus Christ, then I'm gonna do it. And it's taken me a long time to get there. And we still have our separate stuff. Like we have separate sides of the kitchen, the bed, obviously. We have our own bathrooms. I have my own, you know, side of the fridge and all that jazz, mainly because of the bodybuilding stuff. But when it comes to stuff that your partner doesn't care about, What's gonna bring you the most peace? Okay, that was part one. Part two is some people ask how we met. His story is gonna take this long because he is a man of few words in public. Once you, once he, we in the house, you know, he chatty patty, but in public he be quiet. So when I put him on to tell his side, it's gonna take four seconds, maybe. It's either gonna take four seconds or an hour video. But long story short, it was 20, 17 we were in LA and I was doing extra work we were doing extra work for Beachbody funny enough it was a fitness thing and they had about 400 people there and it was paying $100 cash okay and me being broken in a joke at the time this is all pre-Broadway and everything I needed that money honey so like boom 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 so we, I went and did this job and it was crazy because they only, there were 400 people there, but only one side of the cafeteria actually went outside to do the job. So I'm outside, sorry if this is annoying the sound, but I'm outside and I'll walk away just in case. So I'm outside and I'm hanging out with my gaze. Aurelia loves the gaze. If you're not here for them, you can go ahead and exit stage left. Cause I'm, <laughs> have you seen my wedding party? Okay, gra. So, Pepper wants to be a part of the story. So, there was like the whole area where they were doing the recording. It was in the sun, it was hot. So me and the gaze went to the back into the shade 
And all of a sudden, it got darker. I was like, what in the world? And I look up, and there is... Adam used to be a big, beefy boy. Chef Boy RD, okay? He was thick. Thicker than a snicker. And he was standing like this with his Ray-Bans on. She came up out of nowhere. So I text the gays. I'm like, hey, is he cute enough to talk to? They're like, yes, bitch. Right, Pepper? They was like, yes, bitch. So I start telling jokes. He laughed, and I noticed his smile. I'm like, dang, he got a nice smile. He got a nice set of teeth. He goes to the good dentist. He got that good insurance. So we go back inside, and I see him eating by himself because Adam's one of them people, like, he kind of looks like a fuck boy. He looks like that dude, like I'm that guy, but he's total introvert. So he's sitting there eating by himself. I was like, oh, you could come sit with us. You can't sit with us. So all the gays are like, ask him this, ask him that. So that's when I find out he's from Alaska. For those that don't know, Adam is from Fairbanks, Alaska. He's an adopted twin. Yes, they adopted both. Twin sister. Sorry. Sorry, ladies. Or fellas. Twin sister um, who lives in Georgia. And he was 25 at the time. And I think I was 31 because we're six years difference. And what I think stood out most about him is we had talked about going um, hiking, just like as friends. You know, I'm, I'm very chatty patty with everybody. But before we even left the garage, he had already texted me like, it was so nice to meet you. I'm looking forward to the hike. And you know how guys can be, especially in LA, child. New Yorkers, they be straightforward. Like, they just won't hit you. <laughs> but in LA, they be like, oh, I'm so excited. You know, then, they, then you don't hear from them. They be flaky like that. But um, we were friends for six months. And then I decided I wanted to go to New York to pursue Broadway. And he drove me as a friend. Everybody knew that we were going to be together, apparently, but me. And we got to New York. And he told me he loved me. And I was like, whoa, easy white chocolate. Like, wouldn't want you to bell. I didn't come out here. Unless your name is Broadway, I did not come out here for you. So I ended, like, our communication a bit. And then he got a car. And I found out on Snapchat. I was like, what? He tells me everything. What do you mean I found out on Snapchat? Oh. Pepper's like, this story is so tired. I've been hearing this. So once I realized I was sad about it, oh, uh, you feeling the suspense? I was like, oh, I think I kind of like him. So then that was February, January of 2017. Oh, so we met 2016. So January 2017, he drives me to New York. He leaves. We start dating. We become official April 3rd of 2017. I'm in New York. I'm living with my parents you saw my parents so you know we had a good time and he decides he wants to move to new york for me come june he we go i go to la to drive him now cross country we stop in maryland at my alma mater umd call it pog bubble spots terrapins and literally while we're having breakfast i get a call from my agent that i booked the donna summer musical that was going to Broadway, but it was starting in San Diego for four months. So he literally lived in New York for four months in Brooklyn. And Adam's from uh, Alaska, so that he's black, but he's not. And so he had a very hard time for those four months living in Alaska. I mean, living in Brooklyn, deep in Brooklyn by himself. And then I finally came back in December and then we got a place the next year, but I started Broadway. So we, we missed a lot of time. And, you know, I almost sacrificed my relationship for Broadway, which is why now, like, I'm, I refuse to be a slave to any industry or any opportunity if it's going to get in the way of my family. So that's how we met. We got married two years ago on our anniversary because a girl ain't got time to be remembering all these dates. So we got married April 3rd of 2022. Um, and I don't know how we're going to celebrate. We're dog sitting our old neighbor's dog. So we figured maybe we do something the next weekend when they get back, they can take Pepper. Um, but yeah. And you know, it's been a beautiful journey. We're both very like, it's cheaper to keep up. I'm not trying to be out here in these streets trying to find somebody dealing with all these apps and all those crazy things. Like it's wild out here, especially in La La Land. So, um, you know, I still feel like I feel like when single people ask how's marriage, they're expecting you to be like, oh my God, this is amazing and that is incredible. But people that are married, when I say it's work, they know exactly what I mean. I think some, not all single folks, obviously, but a lot of the people I talk to, just in how they ask, like, cause they're expecting to hear, because they 
because that's something they're seeking. They're expecting to hear the best of it. And I'm like, it's work. It's good work, but it's still work nonetheless. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens when he tells his story. I don't know if that'll be on this episode, but maybe the next one. All right, y'all, heading off to Bible study. I thought my husband was coming, so I was gonna have him give his rendition of how we met the foolishness because i'm sure it's gonna be all foolish but he has to finish editing some photos for a client so that goes to the church so i guess he's like in case i run into her on sunday on easter oh what am i gonna wear for easter so for those that don't know i am pushing to not repeat any of my clothes uh tops and stuff not pants that's just ridiculous but um i'm trying not to repeat any tops so i gotta figure out what i'm gonna wear for easter because it's gonna be real easter bunner bunny like pastels all of that so to see if there's something i haven't worn yet i could wear my long vent shirt but that's a little uh is it pretentious to wear ostentatious pick any of those words anyway so I think I'm going to drop this video tonight or in the morning. Get me, I'll drop it tonight because I don't, people be going early in the gym. And since y'all blessed me with so many videos, I saw um, Linnell has a video. I saw, um, y'all going to go or y'all going to go? I saw Shantae has a video. Let Andrea go ahead and bless me with a video tomorrow. Tomorrow cardio about to be lit. Also, I realized I took off this morning from cardio and I had no right. <laughs> so now I gotta make that up. I just really thought I had an extra, like I didn't take any mornings off. No, I took the day before off. I took yesterday off. Or did I? Maybe I didn't. Maybe I put off and I lied. I'm gonna have to check. But anyway, I think I will end it here. I wanted to do a fit check, so I'll, at, I'll end it here, speaking wise, but y'all gonna get this fit check, okay? Because the shoes were a gift from the bestie, Brit. Um, and I will start back up tomorrow. As of Saturday, we will now be eight weeks out. Holy smoking a pancake, picking a blanket. Crazy pants. And now it's getting to that point where the prep goggles start going, Ugh, can you? you drop that much in the India. <laughs> so time to start shutting up trusting the coach i don't even think i told y'all my coach's feedback if i did well here it goes again he said he is very happy with what he's seeing it was not my lowest weight when i checked in but it was the tightest that i've been and he feels a really good week ahead so he doesn't want me to check in until monday i already said that well now you got it twice so i'm like you know what if you're excited I'm excited. I'm going to just trust you. You see something. I'm too worried now about this posing. I got eight weeks to get this posing down. Um, but I'm feeling the changes that were made. It's just muscle memory now. I have one thing set for the last two years because I was in improvement season and practicing that. So it's happening. It's, it's going to go down. Anyway, all right, y'all. See y'all on the next vlog. Peace. Thank you.